just the most extraordinary facility for being in tune with the child in the room, the sort of hierarchical relations of the family, uh, the intergenerational relations of the family seem to me the space that he's primarily concerned with. The idea that a child could become interested in something independent of itself and make it its own, outside the relationship with the mother or the significant caregiver, opens up a field about a different, well, a particular kind of approach to what being alive means. He emphasises more the positive aspects of what it means for a child to find an object and make it his or her own and what that augurs of a future possibilities for life than the child having to make do with a substitute and find a substitute because of overwhelming anxiety about being alone. He didn't sentimentalise children uh, and he was aware of their difficulties and given our current situation, international situation, I'm thinking for instance particularly of the situation of unaccompanied children, of children in refugee camps, of children on their own and making their own way on the streets, all of those sorts of things which are, there may have been levels of that set of problems throughout history, there have been, but actually it's a, pro a problem if we open our eyes to it for all of us now. And I think Winnicott would really be a valuable uh, assistant in thinking out government uh, initiatives in relation to that. Whereas the need for listening to children, for thinking of ways of being involved in work with children, is more and more important. And Winnicott really has a lot to offer there.